reintroduced in the California Senate to extend bar service hours until 4 o'clock uh, in the morning. Ginger Jeffries is live in El Cajon with the details of this. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning. Yeah, you may remember this from last year because we covered this extensively. This time it's called Senate Bill 58, and what it would do is extend the bar service hours from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Now, it doesn't include all California counties, but because it does include some counties that are nearby to San Diego, it certainly has our attention. Now, last year, when this legislation was introduced, it actually made it through the legislature. It went to Governor Brown's desk, and he decided to veto it. Then, in December, December 17th, this legislation, almost a carbon copy of the first one that went through, it uh, was reintroduced, and right now, Senate Bill 58 is in committee, but the word is from all the folks I've talked to in Sacramento that if this passes through the legislature, they do expect Governor Newsom to sign off on this, which means this Senate bill could become a reality. So let me give you an overview of Senate Bill 58. This is a pilot program. I mentioned it wouldn't start until January 1st of 2022, and it would go for uh, five years. Now, what this bill would do for the cities of Long Beach, Los Angeles, Oakland, Sacramento, San Francisco, West Hollywood, and some small areas near Palm Springs, they would be able to serve from bars until 4 o'clock in the morning. This has prompted the attention from the California Alcohol Policy Alliance and Alcohol Justice. They have con con uh, conducted a study over the past 40 years where they found out quite a bit of information about what extending the bar service hours could do. For one, as you take a look at this graphic, the, it shows in this study that the uh, most dangerous time on the roadway is two hours after the the bars close. So right now it's 2 o'clock. That means the most uh, alcohol-related deaths we're seeing on the roads happen at 4 a.m. Also, the splash impact, that's the amount of communities that would be impacted by spillover. That means the late-night drinkers until 4 a.m. can actually merge into the early morning commuters. So as you can imagine, a lot of folks are having concerns about this proposed legislation and the talk that Governor Newsom could actually sign it. So we decided to talk to some of the folks uh, in the know. Uh, this is uh, Stacy Perez, and she works with folks that are going through the drug and alcohol treatment program. So good morning. Good morning, Ginger. When we talk about Senate Bill 58, uh, give me your first reaction to it. Scary, horrible, really scary. Here um, at our Accord DUI program, we serve about 4,000 people a year who've been arrested for driving under the influence. What we do see is there's been decline in arrest over the past three or four years, but there's been, in, in the state, there's been an increase in fatalities, DUI fatalities. So we know that our security, our highway patrols, they're already really, really taxed. We already know that we need more enforcement. By doing something like this, that's only going to put more pressure on a system that's already really, really over, overstretched. Um, we see, like you mentioned, the splash effect. You know, it sounds great to say we're only going to do it in our community, let a community choose about their bar hours, but we know that doesn't work. We know when people start drinking or going out, they're going to go to different areas and choose. Um, they start going out, they start to pick, and they start to, they start to travel, and that's what's really, really dangerous. We also know that at 4 a.m. when people are leaving bars, a big part of our population is getting up and going to work. And that's really, really, really dangerous also. So we're opposed. The Alcohol Coalition of San Diego is really opposed to this. So we're just asking that, um, you know, everybody in Sacramento really look at this. All right. So we're going to be talking uh, more with Stacy about the program that they actually do here so you can hear some of the stories from the folks themselves and we'll take a little deeper dive into exactly what Senate Bill 58 would mean for San Diego County even though our name is not in the legislation at least not yet we are live in El Cajon I'll send it back to you in the studio yeah very interesting all wow. right Ginger thank you let's get a check of our news now with Jason Ostell good morning Jason good morning Lauren Carlos hi everybody 
All right, we are talking about Senate Bill 58. This is the Senate bill. We uh, addressed this last year because uh, it would extend the bar service hours until 4 o'clock in the morning. This made it through our state legislature, and then it landed on the desk of our governor, Governor Brown. He vetoed that bill, but now in the mid-December, once again, Senate Bill 58 will is in committee right now and could be headed to Gavin Newsom's desk, and the word from Sacramento is he may actually sign this bill. So we wanted to give you some information on what Senate Bill 58 is all about. It would extend the bar service hours until 4 o'clock in the morning for select areas. This would go into effect January 1st of 2022 and go through 2027. The areas impacted would be Long Beach, Los Angeles, Oakland, Sacramento, San Francisco, West Hollywood, and some areas near Palm Springs. Now, there have been a lot of studies on what extending the bar service hours could do to communities and nearby communities. One thing we found out is the most dangerous time on the roadway is two hours after last call. So right now, as it stands in California, our last call is at two o'clock. At four o'clock in the morning, that's when we're seeing the most fatalities on the roadway. Also, they uh, have something called the splash effect, and that's where uh, people living near these areas that have the extended service hours will feel the impact. In fact, they're estimating that 76% of the California population will actually be impacted if this uh, extended bar service hours actually goes into effect. So we are in El Cajon at a DUI treatment facility talking to the director this morning about uh, this Senate bill and the treatment program. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so we know last hour that you said uh, you are not in favor of this treatment program, or I'm sorry, of this bill because of what it does, but I'd really like to hear more about what this treatment program uh, does, specifically uh, the, the positive impact that you're having on DUI offenders. So can you talk to me a little bit about that? Sure, absolutely. Um, here at our core DUI program, we are a state-licensed DUI treatment program. All of our counselors are certified with the state of California to provide um, DUI treatment. So that means if you're arrested for a DUI in the state, you come through our program. There's four programs like us in San Diego County. And you receive education, counseling, individual counseling, and group counseling. Now, depending on the blood alcohol level you received or you had when you were arrested, and if it's your first DUI, if you've had multiple DUIs or previous DUIs, depends on how long of a treatment program you have with us. Now, when you come to us, you're assessed. So we're identifying if maybe you have a, a, you know, a substance use problem that you need more um, intense treatment for, and we make referrals in the community for that treatment also. So here at Accord, we see that if you come through our program, there, over 75% of our clients complete our program and do not return, do not, comp do not um, receive another DUI in the future. That is extraordinary. You have an over 75% success rate. This is mandatory if folks want to get their license back. Right. Um, for a DUI, what does that cost the average person as far as the fees in totality? Yeah, I mean, money-wise, you're looking over, I mean, easily over ten to $12,000. But it costs so much more. I mean, this, these are the lucky people, the people who make it here. But you're looking at a lot of people lose employment because they need their license. They need a clean record and criminal record to have their jobs. I mean, we've seen people lose families or lose marriages over this. We've seen people, um, I mean, it's, it can be very, very devastating to people. We try to do everything we can to, to get the word out to prevent them. And there's so many ways to prevent a DUI. It's so preventable. What scares us about this Senate bill is that we know that right now in the state of California and between 2014-2016, there's a 21 percent in DUI fatalities. And something like this would only, we see that only increasing. So the, co the money is one thing, but the cost of lives, I mean, there's no price on that. All right. Uh, very well stated. We're going to be talking later uh, today with one of the success stories from this treatment program, and we're going to bring that to you tonight on the KUSI Evening News Editions. Right now, we're going to take a quick break, and Good Morning San Diego continues in just two minutes. Stick around.